The first thing I want to demonstrate for you is how I go about jacking up the vehicle to check the ball joints. Okay, first I'm going to show you jacking up on a cross member, which will lift up the whole vehicle, similar to if you have it on a lift. Now this one uses a torsion bar setup, so it doesn't have springs or struts. It has a spring-loaded bar that runs back to a cross member, and you can see where it comes through right there, and it's, uh, it's a, what they call a torsion bar. So that's spring-loaded. So when I jack up on a cross member, you can see that lower control arm coming down, and that still has spring pressure on it. Now it's putting all that load on that upper ball joint and pushing down on this lower ball joint so you're not going to really feel any play. And let me demonstrate. With it jacked up on a cross member or up on a lift, you can check the front end, but as you can see it's not... I can push really hard and make it move. However, those ball joints are loaded, so you're not really going to tell if they're loose. So let me show you the difference when you jack up on the lower control arm. Okay, you don't want the jack hitting the tire. However, you want it as close as you can to where you're not hitting the tire. Now this control arm supports the weight of the vehicle under normal conditions, so it'll have no problem jacking up. Now that spindle is pretty much just sitting there with the weight of it on the lower ball joint and just dangling from the upper ball joint without the tension of that torsion bar. And if you take a close look, see I didn't even notice this before, you can see the ripped boot on that upper ball joint. That allowed all the contaminants from the road and all the grease to come out. So now let me show you how much easier it is to tell if you have a loose component. Pretty much using my fingertips. Very little pressure. Because that spindle is now just sitting there. It no longer has the tension from that torsion bar pulling down on the ball joints. I'm actually using my fingertips and I'm feeling that loose ball joint. That's pretty bad. Alright, let's uh, replace that upper ball joint.